So a year three interview with uh, Geoffrey Boot, DEFA minister, and uh, I've looked back on last year. It was, it was very, um, well, Brexit as well. We were talking a lot about Brexit, and, and here we are another 12 months on. Still, as we record this, I mean, things are moving. Yes, but things as are we, moving. As we record this, we're heading towards this over-the-cliff face through first of October. Your views? Well, it's been a strange year. I think it's uh, been the busiest year in government that I've had so far. And it's not just Brexit. Climate change has uh, taken on a whole new dimension. But uh, whilst we're talking about Brexit, yes, I mean, there we are, 31st of October uh, looming. Uh, we don't know which way, ever way it's going. Um, from my perspective, uh, we've had to call an extraordinary uh, meeting of Timwold to uh, pass some legislation uh, before a SCOPAF meeting um, on the 11th of October. The government, uh, UK government wanted us to have enforceable legislation in place that uh, mimics uh, the EU-UK uh, situation. And uh, that is obviously using up a lot of resource. Uh, but if we don't do that, and there is a hard Brexit on the 31st of October, uh, we could be left in a situation where we simply can't uh, export our, our produce. But you've got one of the one of those major bits of where it we will be affected, the, the shipping. I mean, the fishery, should I say, being precise. Well, I mean, that could be really open to all sorts of interpretations. Well, well, well fisheries, um, agricultural produce, uh, yeah. the creamery um, export a lot of uh, um, uh, cheese products uh, all around the world on the basis or on the back of EU uh, agreements. Um, so th there's a lot riding on that. And also animal welfare, we export uh, live animals for breeding stock and things like that. We export our meat, a lot of our meat goes to uh, the UK. And if the UK won't accept that, we're going to be in a very, very difficult situation. Okay, so let's get back to you and how you're dealing with all of this. You, you, you've got a list of what you're responsible for. This seems to be bigger, or is it just the way it looks to me, but are you being snowed down or snowed under with, with stuff now? I mean, what's going on? Why are you getting more and more things? Not snowed under, but you are absolutely correct here. When I start looking through the things that we've had to deal with over the last, well, three years, but particularly in the last 12 months, yeah. there's a lot there. Climate change uh, has, uh, as I said earlier, taken on a whole new dimension, a uh, whole huge work stream there. Um, we, we are the, the department sort of driving that process with Professor James Curran and the independent report that was uh, um, uh, wanted by Timwold. Uh, that's well progressed, but our officer teams are all working cross-departmentally. We're hosting the uh, um, officer teams at DEFA. But a lot of resource gone into that. It's exciting work. There's some good stuff coming out of this. Uh, I haven't seen or have not privy to anything with regard to the report at the moment. But I, I know that uh, from speaking to the officers, it, looking at different streams, there's some very interesting stuff there. There's some uh, things that we will be able to do on Ireland. Quite exciting. OK, but then looking back at the last 12 months in this section, what else have you achieved? Well, we've been working on a number of things, and uh, obviously Brexit has tended to sideline some of the things we wanted to do. Um, but uh, agricultural support reform that I wanted, um, we've finally agreed uh, the principles, and the strategy goes to uh, November Timwald, and that will lay out uh, the way forward. We've got agreement buying from the NFU, the, the farmers, um, and we will for the first time for a long time, have a proper environmental scheme as part of the support package, which will ensure that farmers go on supporting our environment, and in particular, that plays to the climate change agenda, which is uh, all good news. So that, that's uh, that's something that I was very keen that we do. Yeah, suddenly, suddenly cows are not good news and we should be planting more trees and things. And well, we will be planting more trees. The yeah. Chief Minister's announced his uh, uh, forestry scheme. Um, we're, we're rolling out uh, uh, initiatives within the support scheme to encourage farmers to plant trees, which is good news and from well, an offsetting point 18, of view. 18,000 is a target, isn't it? Uh, is well, there's there's a one per, per person or something? There, there's one per person, but th there will be a lot more than that oh, really? in due course. Uh, you know, uh, we need more trees and we need to conserve our uh, peat uplands, make sure that we have sequestration opportunities. Um, so, yeah, you, uh, I think uh, uh, the community as a whole will be pleased with the new support scheme, which is definitely going down an environmental as well as a production. We were talking about the meat plant last year. I know you, uh, you kind of give it off to your member as such, but, uh, you know, at the end of the day, it's still your department. And how are we doing on that? The meat plant um, is uh, still viewed very much as a strategic asset for the island. You're using words carefully there, though. 
Well, here you it, 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 sadly, um, it, it, from a farmer's perspective, we've got more farmer buy-in, um, but the meat market generally has been very difficult over the last uh, 12 months, and particularly in the last nine months. With Brexit, uh, there were fears in Southern Ireland that there may be a, a stop to uh, exporting beef to the UK. Uh, they offloaded a lot of beef into the market, and uh, uh, it, it created a very poor trading scenario uh, for meat products. You alluded to uh, meat and uh, the, the vegan agenda, as it were, with climate change. Yeah. Well, I, I have to say that on Ireland, we need animals to graze our upland areas and, the, and some of the areas. They're not suitable for growing vegetables. If we didn't have a, a, a production type animal uh, farming network, then somehow we would have to deal with those areas anyway. So grass fed, um, on sustainable pasture land, it's probably as good as it gets from an environmental point of view uh, with animals and meat production. Okay, what else are you pleased with or proud of over the well, last 12 months? We, I, I would say another step forward in the climate change agenda, but uh, we, we passed new building regulations um, which will lead to nearly passive houses uh, by 2025. That's a good step forward. Uh, we brought forward new uh, planning um, proposals and uh, working with the Cabinet Office, they will be coming forward shortly. We've been working on bathing water quality. Um, there will be something uh, before uh, Timworld in December. We still can't get ourselves a blue flag, can we? Well, uh, so far, is that going to be a blue new... Blue flag and bathing water quality is a slightly but different. But we're a biosphere. Everyone keeps saying this should all We've be together. We've got two we? areas where we still have raw sewage going into the sea sadly yeah. and we are trying to address those with DOI and the Manx Utilities and that will probably be done by the end of this parliamentary term. Uh, from a, a, a legislation point of view uh, what we're going to put in place in terms of water quality etc will ensure that we do meet those standards. How are you getting on in peel with the sewage because we were talking about that last year where's, where's it up to because I, I don't know. Well that's obviously a, an MU DOI uh, infrastructure project. It's got uh, held up is it? For, yeah, not held up no it's a usual story and um, there are a lot of You hurdles. were hoping it was going to be done I think. And not done. Uh, or at least started. on well, its way. Well it is on its way. Okay. They've, got, they've, they've got the site uh, with yeah. the plans have been consulted on so it, it, it's moving forward and uh, from a regular uh, regulatory point of view from DEFA's point of view uh, all the things that they want to do can be done. Mm -hmm. Any disappointments over the last 12 months that, besides I mean things that haven't moved well probably things that haven't moved as fast as you well, want to? Well the competition bill uh, I would like to have seen that progress a little bit further but uh, that's been uh, stalled because we need equivalency with the UK with the Brexit situation and we're not quite sure what equivalency means and w to be fair the UK government and DEFRA uh, particularly work very well with us and keep us informed but they're not quite sure I don't think in, in some instances uh, what's going on so the competition bill is being delayed the animal welfare bill which we consulted on and done a lot of work that has stalled to a certain extent because of the work we've been doing on Brexit um, but I'm hoping to move that forward in the next 12 months so that we do have something in place by the end of the parliamentary term.